Okay, this little half an hour project, you can call it two things. You can call it uh, keep off the lava, or you can just call it a maze. Okay, so I've just got the uh, actual grass down at the moment. I'm not going to tell you how to do some of these things because they've been in the other videos anyway. So I'm just going to put in, uh, so we need to put in the same things that we put into every type of game. We need to put in obstacles. We need to make sure there's an objective. Uh, we're going to do uh, variables. So we're going to use uh, variables again are basically places where you can hold, hold data. And we're going to use that for actual uh, scores. Um, and then you have to collect certain things to get around. We're going to put an endpoint in there as well. So there's a bit, few bits of coding. Uh, obviously, we've got to do the coding as well on the characters, make sure they're moving around all right. So I'm just going to put in some obstacles to start with. Basically, I'm going to make a, a maze through here. I'm going to have an endpoint over here, put in this top left corner. You have to go around and then collect some stars. Um, we're going to count up the stars as well using the variables and then once you've collected at least five stars then the end point will open up so we're going to do another thing on top of that where we've got like a subroutine so an extra page where if these things happen and you're collecting the stars then this end point will actually appear and be there for you to go on okay so I can choose any of the patterns to be my obstacles I'm going to choose this one because it's bright now a little tip here and you use the arrow keys uh, up here and it says left and right there's loads of little keys that you can use shortcut keys left and right on that one I'm going to make it a bit smaller and I'm just going to make sure that I've got to every time that I'm doing the game it's either it's got to be able to be completed as well so I don't want to make it too hard but I also want to make it a challenge so it's a bit of a you know I've got to make sure it does both of those things I've got to think about them all so I'm just going to make all my one and I'm going to put an end uh, colour up here to be my final thing as well so I'm just going to fast forward on time okay so I've done my map these are going to obviously work as the fact the boundaries to the actual game itself I'm going to put uh, little things in between each of these it's a very simple maze you can make it a lot more complicated I'm just obviously going over the basics for it all uh, I'm going to click on my Kodu character here I'm going to put him in I might actually use Kodu click off it let's click back onto it let's click on there I might actually use Kodu I'm um, going to move him over here. I've got to make sure that it can actually fit through all the different sections. Hopefully, you can get through that one all right. I've got to make it so it's a bit challenging, so I think that's the right size, but obviously, I still want him to be able to complete it. Okay, I'm just going to right click on him, program him. Uh, so, when, as usual, keyboard, arrows, do. I'm going to move him. That's all he needs to do for that. Let's just test him out. Always test. All the way through. Looks like it's going to be alright. Looks like you can get down there. Might be slightly too easy. Um, but for the sake of this video, that's fine. At least I can be able to complete it and test it then. Okay, right, so let's go back to the start. Right, let's program it. So basically, the few things I've got to program, if you think about it, well, you can think yourself about what you need to do. Hopefully, you can do it without having to look for the whole video. Uh, when he hits these, then obviously I need it to end the game. When he collects stars, which I'll put in in a second, then they need to add up the score. And then when he gets to this end point, then obviously it needs to say it's, he's won the game. Okay, so I'm just going to put the stars in now. Right, I've put the stars in. Here they are. There's five of them. Easy way to do it is basically click on the characters. I'll tell you where the star is. It's under the objects one, which is the objects one is there. And you can see the stars there. An easier thing, a little shortcut for this is you right click onto that and you can copy them. And if you right copy them and you right click somewhere else, you can paste them in. And that's why I've got five of them. So now we've got to do uh, some programming on it. On it. So if the code hits the stars, we need to count them up. And if he hits onto these, then it ends the game. And then if it goes onto here, then it wins. Okay. But the winning one's slightly different because he needs to collect all five stars before this opens up. So I'm going to show you how to do that. Okay. So it's all programming on him. Okay. So at the moment, that's all I've got. So if I do the actual hitting on the land bit first, because that needs to restart and go back to here, so end it. So if he bumps into, which is the easiest way to do, actually what I'm saying, it's on land. So go on land, so when he hits a different type of land, you can see on the little picture there what it means. Uh, type, I need to pick the pink ones, there they are, and then game, and on here I can just end it or I can reset the world. I might reset it, I don't want to end the whole thing because I'll have to restart the whole game, so I'm just going to reset 
and then da, 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 the world. Okay, can test that. Let's test that one straight away. Press play. Here it goes. It goes there. There it goes. It goes back to the start. Let's do it a bit further away. Test all the different things that can possibly go wrong with it. There you go. Perfect. Right, first one working. Let's go back to him. Always click on that one to be able to select him. Program. Okay, let's do collecting the stars. So again, uh, this is bumped on this one because it bumps into the stars, and that one's just changing to the different lands. Uh, bump into I need objects and the star. I think it's into more star. I want to add some scores. So when remember when you do that, then this happens. Then so I want to do. Uh, da, 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 da. So let's go to game, set the score. Um, let's go. Did I want? Ah, I might make a bit of a mistake there because I think it's just add the score. Yeah, that's what we're doing. Add the score, not set it. Add the score. Got to choose a colour. Um, it doesn't really matter what colour I choose. Let's do red, and then I can choose the points. It's weird that you've got to go through those little stages just to put a one point on. You've got to choose the colour for some reason, but there you go, easy enough. Okay, so add one point. Now, when it gets up to five points, then I want it to open up the top left corner on this. So when the score, uh, red one, again, I've got to do red on that one, goes to, is equal to, should do, do it equal to is just as easiest one to do, and points. And I want it to be five points because there's five stars. So when the scored red is equal to five points, then what I want to do, now this is slightly different, is I want it to go to a second page because on the second page I can put in all new coding that only happens on that second page. It doesn't happen otherwise. That means it will automatically open up the other section. Well, I need to just put the code on that one. So let's go to, it will make sense in a bit anyway, switch to page two. Right? And if I click up here, there's nothing on page two at the moment. It resets the whole code. Right? But it'll only do it once they've got all five stars. So let's click onto the here. So now that means I can do the difference of it winning over here. Now it resets everything. So actually, what I've got to do is there's only one thing from all of this code I need to bring across. And have a look to see which one you think it is. Don't need to do that now, that should be done with that one. Um, this should carry on as well, and this one should carry on as well. So, I'm just going to do those two because I want those two to be the same. This doesn't need to be done anymore, they've already collected all the stars. So, let's just do those quick. So, keyboard, arrows, and move, and then when they hit. Uh, da, 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 da more on land and the colour of that one then I still want it to reset the I've done that quick so I did it before now the new bit of code so it's going to be on the on land but on this time I want it to win because I want it to be on that one now let's just check my colour that I did because I just want to make sure it's the right one it's that blue one there ok let's make sure it's right ok let's go back to him so blue one just check and that'll be it then, it should all work. So, uh, on land, da, 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 more, it's under on land, change to the bluey one. It's got to be that one. Looks green to me though. Uh, da, 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 so, uh, and then, game, win. Now, as long as I've got the right type, I should be okay. So, let's just quickly. Now, I might just fast forward this as well. Because otherwise, I'm going to be. Um, it's going to take me a bit of time. In fact, I might just pop to the end. So I'm going to pause this as well now. Okay, as you can see, what I've got here is I've got uh, a score for the top right corner because I've collected four of the stars already. So it's working perfectly fine. It's adding up the variables. I'm just going to collect the last one. I've gone on the end point <coughs> and it doesn't work uh, because I need to get all five. So that work, that's fine, that's all right. That's what I want it to do. They're adding another one to it. Turn around. I've done a couple of little bits of code. Please don't hit the edge now. Uh, uh, so hopefully this time, on four stars, it didn't work. Oh. I'm going to have to redo it. Right, can't even play my own game. That took me a few attempts. I'm back. I've got five stars. I'm near the end. Hopefully it cuts in there. Let's click on there to actually do it. Yes!
it was the right colour, it did work. I had to add in two little bits of code just to make it better because I realised to start with the stars were not disappearing. So the code that I did do, and I'll just show you those ones that I put in, um, I changed his settings. So click on the coder character, right click and change the settings. I made him a bit faster, I made him turn around a little bit more, made it a bit easier for me to get around. And the other one that I put in was literally just this one. When he bumps into the star, it eats it because I noticed that uh, bumps into the store. It did the score. Uh, it bumps into the start, It does the score, but it didn't make it disappear. So I had to put eat on it. Anyway, there you go. You can make your own different types of mazes. Um, you can put some extensions onto it in that way. You can put in more stars. You don't have to have stars. You could have people as obstacles as well getting in the way. You could have people shooting at you if you so wish as well. Uh, you can make it a long, massive maze. Mine was only quite a short one. There are extensions to do that on it as well. You can even as well on the actual code on page two which is similar to having a second level you can add in more stuff on that so you can make it a bit more difficult you can make a, a, an actual object appear on the second page just before they're going to get to the end once they've done the five stars if you wanted to you could put some obstacles so they could actually get through something a bit harder before they actually finish it as well i could have added a whole new maze if i so wished just on the end point and after them collecting the objects but that's completely up to you have fun enjoy yourself with it be creative Thank you very much.